Hi! Today I'm going to share some of my favorite books about MS, how to heal MS, ways to think about MS. These books have been with me for the past oh, 15 years or so since my diagnosis. It's kind of before social media. Um, I've just been hauling these things around <laughs> everywhere I move and I want to share them with you because I think they can benefit you more maybe now than they can me. So yeah, maybe I'll even send them out to people who need them. Let me know in the comments. Um, I don't need them so much anymore. So let me know. We'll work something out. Number one, favorite book, Healing MS. <laughs> yes, I love this thing. Now I really love it just because I like to see these words all together, healing MS, <laughs> it just does something in my heart, really. Because I'm like, oh, it's possible. Healing is possible. Healing MS is possible. Um, this one, yeah, as it says, diet, detox, nutritional makeover for total recovery. Uh, this author, she's a naturopath. Before she became a doctor, um, she had MS, and so she worked through it all, and um, she has a a total program for total recovery and this one uh, came out in 2007 I was diagnosed in 2006 and I got this right away and you know, just like n these words together again I was like oh so yeah I have this like scary diagnosis but healing is possible so this is the first one I'm gonna share Number two, and you know, not in this order necessarily of helpfulness, <laughs> but um, this is uh, my order. Peace, Love, and Healing by Bernie Siegel, a cancer doctor. Um, this one, I learned in here that sometimes the worst patients <laughs> uh, have the best prognosis in the long term. Uh, Dr. Bernie Siegel suggested that he noticed it, uh, that his patients who kind of had a bad attitude, like, hey doc, I'm not going to do that because you know what, actually I feel differently about it, or whatever, they just like, who were kind of like, no, I don't believe this diagnosis, I'm going to, whatever, follow my own path to recovery. Um, but kind of like a will to live that's beyond what the doctor is telling you is possible. Um, so I decided to get a bad attitude <laughs> after reading this, meaning like, hey, screw you, I, I can heal. I don't care what you say, I'm, I'm gonna heal anyway. It's like that. Um, and the second thing that I learned from this book that really helped me was, um, is, the, is the medication worse than the disease itself? Um, <laughs> Uh, so, obviously, chemotherapy for cancer is a big thing, and it leads to a lot of sickness. And um, for me, I was I was scheduled to start Tysabri, this MS medication. Nothing else had been working for me. Whatever, I tried Rebif and Avonex, they didn't work. Scheduled to, to try Tysabri, and wow, I kept putting it off for months. Um, I took a trip <laughs> to Africa. And, and that's actually where I read this book. And as I was there and starting to feel strong again, I was like, wait a minute, Tysabri, one of the side effects of that is sometimes people develop this PML, this disease, a brain disease, and it leads to death. And so I was like, well, okay, I'm walking around in Africa now. And yeah, I wasn't like that two months prior, but I don't think that I want this, that side effect of, um, death. <laughs> uh, so that was good. I, I had, at least I had a, a desire to live. Um, so I, I canceled my Tysabri appointment as soon as I got back to the States. I was like, no, I'm not doing that. That, to me, that's a, an instance of where the medication would have been worse than the disease. Um, I was okay at that point, but then I, I decided to continue getting okay on my own. <laughs> no big pharma. Um, I mean, I took the steroids every now and then, but you know what? I don't trust these big pharma people. I never will. I was happy to get out of that system. Thank you, Bernie Siegel. <laughs> Number three, love your disease, baby. Yeah. <laughs> John Harrison, Dr. John Harrison. Does anyone know Louise Hay? 
she's one of my favorite uh, metaphysicians. She recommended this guy to me. Um, Louise Hay is no longer with us in the flesh. She's always alive in my heart. <laughs> and this guy suggested that like, what are you getting from your disease? Like, is it helping you somehow? Like, so is it like social currency? Are you like, maybe you're feeling okay one night, but then, and you just like, don't really want to go out with friends because you just don't really want to. And you feel fine, but you're like, oh yeah, like my MS is like really bad tonight. I'm having a flare, I can't go. And then everyone is gonna be like, oh, well yeah, totally. She She's like, can't come, she has MS. And really like, you could have gone, you just didn't want to, so then you're using your MS like as currency to like not do things that you don't want to do, which you could, you know, so like examples like that, like are you using your MS like for currency like that? Well then maybe it's not in your body's best interest to like heal. <laughs> because if it's like, if it's serving you, then maybe it's just going to be harder to like really let go and, and heal. So, and it's a little controversial though because he also suggests that, you know, you kind of created your own disease, but also you can heal from, from this disease. So, it's all about healing, but also learning why we have this condition. And you know, I believe it has a lot more to do with probably nutrition <laughs> than anything. So, next book, Recovery Diet, the MS Recovery Diet. This one came out a couple years after um, my diagnosis. Like I had already had a pretty well-established um, diet, but this is just like a lot of great recipe ideas. Um, I just love books that like just tell you how to heal, <laughs> you know, because like conventional medicine is never going to tell you that. They're like conventional medicine is no take this really expensive big pharmaceutical drug. That's that's going to be the best way for you to like maybe get better. But no, like these books are like here's a way to actually heal. Nutritionally, um, big nutrition guide this one. Um, Next one, intuitive wellness, baby. Yeah, using your body's inner wisdom to heal. This one has more like, you know, lifestyle kinds of tips, like, oh, meditation and reducing stress. Uh, just kind of looking at different elements in, in your whole life that may be contributing to a condition of dis-ease. Um, this one, you know, whatever. I was living in Seattle and this this author came to speak at one of the bookstores. Look, and so, you know, I went to see her and I just liked her, so I bought her book. And this was just like super helpful tips on just like how to be a more kind of well, better rounded <laughs> individual. Using your body's inner wisdom to heal. I, you know, any, again, anything that's like, oh, here's how to heal. Use this to heal. Anything that's not a stab in the thigh of, you know, big farm, but anything like that, I'm on top of. <laughs> Finally, I'm sure you're aware of this lovely woman, Terry Walls, the Walls Protocol. This woman, um, wow, she had a tremendous success story with her uh, primary progressive MS, if I'm not mistaken. She went from being, oh, she couldn't really do anything and she used diet so strongly to heal herself and now she's such an inspiration and she goes around talking to people about, um, yeah, this like super, uh, kind of strict. <laughs> I, I still haven't done the full uh, gluten-free, um, but maybe next month. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm still interested in, in, you know, just seeing how much better I could feel. Um, so yeah, that's a quick rundown. Did I tell you about radical healing? Rudolph Ballantyne? This is number seven then, I guess. Um, yeah, integrating the world's great therapeutic traditions to create a new transformative medicine. So yeah, it's a pretty, it is pretty radical. And it, it does touch on, so traditional Chinese medicine, 
Ayurveda from India. Um, this guy is a really smart doctor and he just draws upon these different traditions to like suggest what's good specifically for MS. Um, also acupuncture, he may mentioned some acupuncture points and really good uh, diet ideas. I, I like this guy, I, I trust him. I like that he draws from the whole wide world because why wouldn't we? There's so much wisdom out there for us to like tap into, but maybe we don't even know where to look. So here's a good start. And thank you for listening to me ramble on about these books I've been hauling around for a really long time. <laughs> I'll list them in the description. If anyone has any suggestions of other books, or if anyone is just like dying to get a copy of one of these things, they can't find it, um, maybe I'll help you out <laughs> with one of mine. I've had them for so long. So anyway, I hope you guys are all doing really well, and yeah, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye.